your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Recently, a teenage athlete in Sarasota died of a heart condition called myocarditis. And here to talk about what causes this condition and the warning signs is Dr. Dean Sutherland. Thank you, Dr. Sutherland, coming in. This Morning. is very depressing, though, to hear about a teenager losing her life. Absolutely. And a wonderful girl from all reports. She was just mm -hmm. fantastic. And it was so sudden. You know, she was very healthy. She was an athlete, a rower. So mm -hmm. it's just devastating to the parents and to the entire community. Oh, my gosh, it is. So let's talk about of course, some of the warning signs. And first of all, let's talk about what causes and what it is. It's an, it's an infection or inflammation of the heart muscle itself. So, you know, the heart pumps, you know, 60 to 100 times a minute your entire mm -hmm. life. And it has to uh, have a coordinated pumping mechanism. Mm -hmm. So anything that happens to the heart, whether it's a heart attack or an inflammation of the heart that causes less pumping, causes problems with backup of fluid in your lungs, mm -hmm. or it can cause uh, strokes because you're not getting enough blood flow through the heart to keep it from clotting. It can cause lack of oxygen to your brain. It makes you feel very fatigued and tired. Um, so whenever you get myocarditis, which is the inflammation of the heart, uh, that's usually due to a virus. And so we think that's due to some common viruses. There's a disease called slap cheek disease that kids get where they get this red face, parvovirus, mm -hmm. that can cause it. Um, you can get it from rubiola, which is also another disease of babies. Mm -hmm. So babies can get it and they feed mm -hmm. poorly. Um, when it happens in young adults, it actually can be deadly in a, a high percentage of cases. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about some of the warning signs. It may not be as easy as you think to spot this. That's right. You can be very tired. Usually there's a flu-like syndrome ahead of time. And even the viruses that can cause typical sort of gastrointestinal problems, like mm -hmm. you, know, you get on a ship, you know, when you go on a cruise, mm -hmm. make you feel tired and feverish. Those can be very nonspecific, so it can be very hard. But just the severe fatigue that comes on afterwards um, is usually very unusual, and it lasts for days to weeks after what you would normally expect. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what would make you think, I need to go to the doctor? What would you recommend to people who might be feeling a little under the weather? How do you know this might be a condition that you have? If you're feeling like you have uh, extended illness, if it's not just a couple of days, if you feel like you have mono or you know mononucleosis, uh, and you're extremely fatigued, if you feel like you just can't get out of bed, you, you can't do anything, uh, then you probably should go see your doctor. And if you're having shortness of breath, you feel like you're not getting a deep breath, uh, that would be another possible and sign. What's the usual prognosis? Well, in kids that get myocarditis, it can be deadly up to 20%. Mm -hmm. Luckily, it's uncommon, but it, but it can be deadly. Uh, for adults, it's about 60% of people that will just recover spontaneously without any help. Okay. But a, a fair number of people need hospitalization. They need uh, diuretics to get the fluid out of their lungs. Uh, they need some, sometimes some medications to help their heart pump more effectively until it gets better on its own. Okay, and we hear about some people getting heart transplants. Would this be anything that someone would get a transplant for? Is that unrelated? No, it, you can get a transplant for this, but it's usually hard to get a heart just on a short notice mm -hmm. like that because mm -hmm. hearts tend to need to be matched up genetically, you know, to make sure that there's no rejection. And it's, it's very hard to find a heart on a spur of the moment like that. Yeah, that's true. Um, but luckily, this is rare. But yes. again, if you are feeling like you have an extended illness, even if it's something else, that's something you should see your doctor Absolutely. about. Absolutely. Okay, all right. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Sutherland. And now we'll head over to Chuck, take a look at our commute this morning. Hey, thanks, Haley.